Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton. I'm here at SMT AI in Chicago, and I'm joined by Michael Skinner from US Tech. Great to see you again. Thanks for stopping by. Great to be here. Bit of a different show to the last one we were at, Apex, lots of big machines there, lots of small kind of information style booths here. What have, yeah. you, what have you seen today? Today's very interesting because, yeah, in contrasting with Apex, there are many fewer machines here, yeah, in general. The equipment is, is way down, it's much more of like a networking vendor style kind of event, a lot of conversation areas and booths. There's only one full line here with uh, Fuji, and they have their machine partners laid up with, with one line, and that's it. Yeah. There's really, yeah, a small amount of actual equipment. Yeah. And do you think that's because, and I guess SMTA has always been the association that puts on the good conferences, so a lot of emphasis is put on, you know, there have been two days of conferences and workshops before we even got to the expo today. Do you think that's part of the reason, and is the, is the conference well attended and, and well thought of? I think the conference, the conferences themselves are contributing to why there's, there seems to be small attendance. That people are in and out constantly. Um, it's really, yeah, it's just the attendance is definitely like uh, foot traffic is down. Yeah. I think it could be people in and out to the conferences. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think that makes a big difference. And you said you noticed a couple of trends in machines. You noticed a couple of people kind of putting two applications in one machine, kind of hybrid solutions. What's that about? Yeah, I think that in the U.S., because we have such a, uh, you know, in general, everything is much lower volume and high mix, and you have people that are trying to meet the needs of universities that are training students, um, local, small local contract manufacturers with, like, failure, failure analysis or R&D. There's, like, there's uh, two specific examples. One, SM Tech here, they have a machine called the Fox Squared, which is a one-meter square placement machine that also does glue and solder paste dispensing. So for low volume, complicated sort of machines or, or products, I think that's a good solution. As well, Nordson Asymtech has a machine that is, a, it's a dispensing machine with built-in AOI so that it's just verifying the dispensing before and after okay. and each, each dot, basically, yeah. yeah. I think it's an interesting trend because we've spent a lot of time in the last couple of years talking about how those machines connect together and how there's a closed loop between them. Actually getting them into one machine makes a lot of sense and particularly yeah. when you look at placement and dispensing where you know where the, where the two are required for an operation it makes perfect sense. The other thing you mentioned to me that you've uh, you've, you've you've seen happening more is more and more groups and companies are creating their own kind of R&D labs or I guess a hybrid between a, an R&D lab and perhaps a, a kind of a showroom environment. Yeah, it is very interesting and it seems that that is also sort of a solution to the, this feeling that the shows are not enough. So these companies, especially for instance, like uh, Hanwha Tequin, they just purchased the it was the, the pick and place division of Samsung recently and they just set up their showroom in um, in Cypress, California. And I was there for that opening and they have their four line configurations as well as 5,000 square feet of warehouse space. The consumables, the machines, they do refurbished machines there, they, they bring customers, but they also do they'll do runs of, of complete demo boards. So the customer will come in and they'll sit at their high-tech station and they'll, they'll turn around and they see the actual machines. They're making a board that they take home with them. So I think that's one solution for that company trying to break in you know, from Korea if they establish this specific kind of base camp in the U.S. Other, other companies like ASM, they partnered with the Rochester Institute of Technology in New York. In that opening, they put their C-Place um, the E by C place, pick and place machine, as well as a deck printer, and they gave it, you know, basically to the university to train train the students, and also for local contract manufacturers in the area. In fact, Martin Anselm, Dr. Martin Anselm, he's he's the head of that lab there, Rochester okay. SEMA Lab, and he was around today. He was around. Yeah, he's pretty involved with the SMTA. Yeah, that's interesting. And the other one that we've got coming up soon is the Lab One opening, which is the. Uh, Comet group of companies, Ixlon and uh, eBeam, as well as Comet. That's another one that I guess you'll be attending. Yep, that'll be, yeah, two weeks. October 4th is their grand opening. Comet is rebranding. Yep, Exelon, eBeam, and Comet, their products, bringing them all together. Yeah, I think that's part of a trend towards this holistic solution, but they're actually in Silicon Valley, and there is that, I don't know, there's a bit of a 
vibe there that you need to have a Silicon Valley facility. You've, yeah. you've got more and more of the automotive companies doing R&D there. There's a lot going on at the moment. I think it's interesting too that these companies that are trying to set up these sort of dedicated facilities have a strong international presence. So like Hanwha is from Korea and here is Comet Swiss yeah. and they see Silicon Valley and they say like we need to be there. Yeah. You know? So I, I think that's yeah, it's pulling people from the shows, I yeah. think. They're, they're showing their machines, because it's cheaper, in some sense, to fly somebody to the place and show them yeah. and send them on their way when you know it's going to be a sale. Yeah. Or at least show them the full capability of the machine rather than something yeah. kind of mocked up for a show. Yeah, and you know the next visit they do isn't necessarily going to be up the aisle to, to a competitor right. as well. Yeah. So that yeah. big challenge there. Mike, thanks very much for stopping by. Thanks for chatting. I look forward to following up with you tomorrow. Thank you. Yep. Thank you.